Easy guys, it's Monk here. Um, so today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're not actually in logic. We're not looking at that today. Um, it's more going to be a list of my recommendations for learning music production and learning about learning about producing music and where I find a lot of my information. So I've actually, at the time of recording this video, I've been in um, full-time education uh, studying music production for four years now uh, about to do a fifth year um so i've had access to a lot of information that way but like honestly even being in full-time education i'm still le learning just as much on the internet as i am in education i feel um the education feels more like having guidance there and having people for feedback and being in an environment with other people that also make music you learn in that way but just the core information 99 percent of it you can find it online it's just knowing where to look and it's knowing what questions to ask as well so i just wanted to share like the places that i learn about a lot of stuff and um hopefully that's helpful to you learning production i know not everyone is in this sort of place where they can go to education to, to learn so it's like I feel maybe this is useful for you if you're trying to like learn but you're not sure where to look I'm going to give you some recommendations basically so first and foremost YouTube is a hub for information there is so much information on YouTube that we can find and digest and use so pretty much this entire list is YouTube channels and places you can check out. So I'm going to start with uh, Point Blank Music School is the first one on my list. Uh, these are, This is probably the channel I've been watching the longest. I remember when I started out, these are one of the first people I found. Um, these are at an actual music school here in the UK, but they also run this YouTube channel. So that's very useful. So it's very like academic and it's got loads of different resources for all kinds of things on there it's got logic tutorials ableton tutorials all sorts of things so point blank music school definitely check that out as a good all-rounder dubspot is another of my favorites uh especially for the kind of music that i make if you make bass music if you make dub music if you're into like kind of it's a, it's an american company but it's like very much focused on what i would think of as like uk sounds and uk music but um it's got loads of amazing guest lectures on there from all sorts of people um lots of like mad professor on there for dub tutorials uh there's some dub, there's some like classic day like classic dubstep people in here as well can't remember where which ones but there are like dig through that it's got loads of master classes from like really well respected producers and djs and things like that so dub spot recommendation two recommendation three mr bill so this is if you're into your sound design if you're into like really like audio manipulation and all that good stuff mr bill is an amazing resource for like really out of like thinking outside the box stuff uh he's got on here there's lots of episodes of his podcast where he interviews other producers and things if you scroll through though that's particularly when you get this far down there is a lot of um a lot a lot of tutorials and things and he does like really good uh yeah just pretty mad stuff like not your basic i wouldn't say it's beginner stuff and it's very like ableton centric so like just be aware of that you can i i not an ableton user i'm a logic user but uh i still find his information useful and interesting uh the next one's dmb academy i've been watching a lot of these videos a lot more recently like i don't think i did for a while because i don't make drum and bass however again if you're into sound design there's a lot you can learn here you don't have to make drum and bass and i suppose dubstep isn't really a million miles away in terms of the sonic landscape it's a different bpm but a lot of the same kind of techniques and sound design crosses over between the dubstep and drum and bass world so it's useful for me in, in that sense so again if you if you're into sound design you want to learn to do that stuff better dmb academy is a good resource with master classes from all sorts of well-respected artists uh within the drum and bass world um also for sound design i also wanted to say about this guy zen world uh he's got lots of stuff 
all kinds of different um, tutorials actually on here. And I think he's more of like a techno and house guy. Um, however, he does lots lots of different things. And I'm not sure if I can find it here. Got a lot, Like you say, he's got a whole playlist there of sound design stuff. Um, what How I came across him was he did a an entire series. Uh, maybe it's in his playlist. Yeah, a complete guide to master... Um, there it's Spire, but he does, I found him through his Serum tutorials. And he basically does this whole like start to finish video series on like um, everything that you need to know about Serum and doing sound design in that. So if you've just got Serum uh, or you're just getting into sound design and you and there you go, complete guide to master Serum. Boop. This series is like really useful and really good for like going inside and out of the entire entire of that and he does sort of one section of the plugin at a time which is really useful and then as he gets here he's sort of like starting to make specific kind of sounds okay so then sage sage audio these are more to fade the next few i'm going to talk about are a lot more like traditional mixing and mastering music production kind of channels obviously we're more into electronic music and beat making like with what i do and what you probably do if you know of me um but these, like, don't be afraid of delving into more traditional mixing and mastering videos and, like, production videos. Even if they're talking about live music production, it is still useful to you. There's still a lot that you can gain from watching these. Um, and a lot of these, I, I find that a lot of these channels are, way, are, like, a lot more, how do I say this, like, high budget. A lot of these people doing these kind of videos in the traditional sense, there are a lot more of them are in, like professional studios rather than like bedrooms and at home so you know you, there's a bit more of a budget there and sometimes I feel like maybe their word is like I feel a bit more confident trusting their word sometimes because I just they're obviously like you know they know where they are they know what they're doing so Sage Audio is a good one for that uh, White Sea Studio you may have heard of he's pretty big I've been watching his videos for ages his is less tutorial focused and more like he does plug in reviews is a lot of what he's known for. Um, but he does do the occasional tutorial. But even just watching his reviews, I find are really useful for picking up tips and tricks on what to do with certain plugins. Uh, if you YouTube basically any plugin of the last five years, you will probably get one of his videos coming up. He's been doing it for a while. Uh, Sonic Scoop, another one sort of like Sage Audio, just very traditional mixing and mastering advice and music production. Produce Like a Pro, uh, again, similar stuff. Won't go into that too much. Just, these are all channels that you can check out. Uh, and The House of Kush as well. This guy um, talks about a lot, a lot about like analog gear and different, um, yeah, production Mixing and mastering, very much focused on that kind of side of things. Then I was going to sort of mention like some vloggers. John Sign is a sort of house EDM producer from Germany who literally has been doing a video every single day for however many years. Like he does daily vlogs, which I find quite interesting. They're like in his studio. There's the whole process of him building the studio is on there. All of his work as a producer he talks about. And it's quite interesting to get insight into the daily life of someone that their career is music production if that makes sense it's like for us that uh, especially us that are aiming for that it's interesting to know what that life looks like and it's not always like too tutorial focused but I learn a lot just generally from like watching his videos I feel like I pick up stuff another is Ocean um Probably slightly less informative, but still quite interesting. And I think I just like to see how other people approach the beat making process. And Ocean's channel is quite good for that. Just like he, he makes a lot of like grime and drill beats and stuff like that. So it's just interesting to see how someone else approaches the beat making process. Um, and Andrew Masters, probably the nerdiest channel that I follow out of all of them. They're not really tutorials, but he does this whole series where he goes to producers' studios and home studios and things and gets shown around and they talk about all the gear and stuff like that. As you can see from some of these pictures that are on the screen, just like the sheer, like, the like the val the production value of some of these studios is insane. Like, they must have cost so much money to build. Um, 
but they're really interesting because he'll go into the studio and he'll talk to the owner and the owner will talk through the entire setup how everything is rooted all of the gear being used so if you're interested in like hardware especially and the idea of having your own studio one day really interesting channel and again not really like they're not education focused but there's just a lot you can pick up from watching these like and watching people that know what they're talking about talking about stuff I feel like I just pick up a lot of information that way and then I also wanted to mention like learning like I'm very not music centric uh like music theory centric like Music theory doesn't interest me half as much as like audio manipulation and production theory and production techniques. I don't know why. It just doesn't resonate with me in the same way. However, learning some basic theory can be very useful for your productions. And I've recently like I play guitar and bass anyway. So I had a basic understanding before I started producing because I came from a live music background. So I did have some theory, but I found that my knowledge of guitar and stuff, what I could play, didn't translate too well into the production context. So because everything in music and electronic music production is all very much based around keyboards, like you're going to be using keyboards more than anything else to play, like whether that's a MIDI keyboard, whether that's a synthesizer, that's going to be the main thing you use to actually record musical ideas. So learning to play the piano is a great idea. And it's something that I've only just started doing. And this is the channel that I have found. And I say only just at the time of recording this video. It'll be a little while later when the video comes out. So maybe I'll do a video about like how I'm getting on with that at some point. But Basically, this guy is really good for like beginner lessons on how to play the piano. I'm learning a lot from him already. And uh, he gives you like finger exercises to do and how to learn chords. Um, really useful stuff that you can then take back and apply into the music production context. So I just wanted to mention that kind of thing. Like um, that is a useful tool that you can be using. Uh, I then also wanted to mention just generally plug in like Plugin companies like FabFilter, um, if you get some of these plugins, if you get new plugins, it's always worth going and checking out that company if they have a YouTube channel or a website. Often, like the, the higher tier ones like FabFilter or Sound Toys, they will have like channels like this where you've got like even the like, beginner's guide to saturation beginner's guide to distortion they'll be within the context of their plugins so they're especially useful if you've got those plugins but even if you don't like these are people that know what they're talking about because they're not just producers they're people that understand it inside out and enough to actually then design the tools that you use yourself and fab filter for example are like high tier industry standard plugins like I would trust these guys' words on things over most people's. Uh, Sound Toys also do some amazing videos about how to use their plugins. Uh, some really cool masterclasses and stuff. Um, there you go, the actual Sound Toys channel. In-depth looks at all their plugins and then some really good, like I say, masterclasses on stuff. Uh, so definitely check them out. I also have the Slate Digital All Access Pass, which I pay for, which means I get all of their plugin bundle on like a monthly subscription fee. And as well as the plugin bundle and all of the plugins that come with it, you also get access to their like private masterclasses and private uh, tutorial videos. And they have quite a good wealth of information and like video series on their website. Should you uh, want to pay, pay for that. So... I'll show you that quickly. Um, that's all through their Slate Digital website, which is here. I've got to log in. I won't do that right now. But yeah, Slate Digital All Access Pass. Highly recommend that as well. Well worth the money. As you can see, it's not too expensive either here. So there's some of my recommendations for resources that you can use if you're looking to learn production better and you're not in education. You don't have tutors. So you can't afford to do that. These are just some options that you have 
all of the information is out there. It is all on the internet. It is just sort of like knowing what to ask and knowing what to do next. And that stuff will become easier and more obvious as you go along and as you delve into it further. Like the more you learn, the more questions will come up and the more questions you have to ask, the more you'll get answered. And you kind of snowball like learning things in that way. So this is just like some resources to help get you started. Things I've found useful and channels that I find are very informative. So if you found this useful at all, please drop a like and subscribe. I hope you did. If you've got any questions, as always, leave a comment below and I will try and get back to you. Also, if you have any ad additions to this list, like resources that you find useful, please leave them below as well. Like I am very interested myself in always trying to broaden my knowledge further. So um, yeah, please do that. And otherwise, see you guys in the next video.